all right guys welcome welcome to the brand new tutorial in the mulesoft and in this tutorial we are going to look at one more thing okay in the previous tutorial we saw about the soap and web services now let's create a package and let's talk about code in java okay code in java yes you heard me right you can code in java so let's uh, create a configuration file and that would be tada java module java module that's enough i think java module should be good enough okay cool now as usual the first thing that i wanted to do is make sure that i add a http listener <coughs> and let me do that and it's running on which port I just want to make sure it's 50701 i don't know why i have this timeout okay so um let me add the path here and say java module that's it so what would be our uh, logical path in the um, in our uh, postman http localhost 7071 7071 and that would be slash java module cool now <coughs> to add the java module click on this uh, and here if you can see add modules drag and drop this java that's it now java module got added okay see there are four things invoke invoke static and new and validate type now here is the thing let's talk about invoke static if you highlight this see operation uh, i don't know whether i can get this or not okay let me get this guy over here invoke static now if i just highlight that uh, yeah it doesn't give anything notes not the notes i'm sorry guys see just if i highlight this invoke static if we can read it it says that operation that allows the user to invoke static methods with provided arguments now here is the thing now what is a static method in java i will skip all those definitions i assume that you would be knowing it okay in case if it's not i would request you to with sincerely i would request you to guys to go ahead and read about the static methods in java okay now let's do one thing let's first see here it says that okay give me the class name and give me the method name now to do that first we need to create it in in source main java here it is so let's create a package um package is code java okay cool and in that let's create a class um mm -mm, where are you okay i'll do one thing let's create a class directly here itself let's delete this let's create a class okay and the class name is what i'm going to do is that i'll say code um code java dot um not dot that's it package name is learn mule and i'm going to change this to code in java again code code java okay and finish as you can see it has been created okay a package which is code java here code java and the class name okay this class name code java is what actually you will be adding over here okay we will that will automatically be available we'll see that um let's create one small function public static return type is string and i'm going to say public static string um public static string uh, return um obviously the method name guys i forgot the method name i'll say um welcome welcome mule okay welcome mule and then i'm going to say return uh, return is welcome to mule world mule world of java okay that's it and colon there you go that's done now it's time that you invoke that code java in here before that you need to refresh the project okay let's refresh right click and you need to refresh the project 
once the refresh is done now if you can see here if you click on this plus not plus search and if i'm going to say code uh, there you see code java this is pointing over sorry this guy is pointing to this so which means that particular value i'm going to embed okay let me clear that press okay now it has taken with the perfect name code java dot code java here this package name package name and this class name okay now the next step is that obviously it has automatically populated if you refresh it if you click on this refresh button it will automatically populate the methods that you have written and since i have not taken any argument at this stage that's the reason there's no argument save it so invoke static uh, welcome mule welcome mule that's it and once that's done i'm going to log whatever logging that i have i'll just going to log the payload the output of it okay log payload okay so let's debug i'm going to keep a breakpoint here go back to this guy and let's hit it once the once the debug is complete had okay so it has been deployed which is good now let's make a call send send mari and then now it will invoke that particular method and where are you there you go click on next let's log as you can see it should have that welcome to mule world of java you can see this right see and you should have the same thing even here as well and you can format if you want in json xml or any format as you wish and that i leave that up to you guys and i'm going not going to debate on that nor going to have any conversation on that because it's up to you now let's go back to this guy and create uh, with arguments public static um, i'm thinking string again let's take the string only string student name and i'll take argument string string f name comma string l name yeah correct and then here i'm going to return return uh, return f name plus with a space here and with a colon plus l name that's it now you have two arguments which takes f name and l name and just adds this hyphen and sends it back now this is the first payload okay Le and let me save that in one variable so very set variable uh, favorite core i think this should have been in the favorite actually set variable and uh, to favorite so i'm going to save it in a variable or there should be a target variable is it, is there a target variable here no nah, there is okay there is a target variable see guys i've never spoken about target variable before target variable is something that in case see just like you drag and drop this set variable after this right then whatever output you get you can save it in a variable right same as that which means whatever output that you get of this object this object this connector it says that boss save it in a target variable that's okay i'll save it in target variable and i'm going to say um, uh, save module 1 save module 1 that's it and then i'm going to invoke another static method invoke static and this time i'm going to say invoke static um, concatenate tenate okay and this time i need to pass the arguments that's the problem now uh, how do you pass the arguments okay but before that let me select the class name select this code java refresh that okay not welcome mule oh come on okay all right let me stop this guys i think it's it's still running at the background that's the problem okay let me stop this refresh it okay click on this now it's resolving the metadata still okay 
uh, let me get completed it got completed now let me refresh this come on you should have two things there you go and it says string student name as you can see it takes two arguments student name string if name and if l name and it also populates this which is actually not required let me try to remove this and see what happens okay now i need to populate this okay so let me switch to expression mode and what i'm going to do is that um let me see if this works i'm going to say f name as f name as manju comma or if i just say l name as oh shit okay first of all let me give in this way and see if this works if this doesn't work then we will devise another method now if you can see with the help of the expression mode evaluate evaluation parenthesis i have said f name f name l name l name okay let us see if this works and um it's throwing an error actually okay so this is an error so what if i give it in double quotes does it resolve let us see that mm okay it's already in that mode okay so i think i need to remove this i believe is it okay let me check the error again invalid field value first of all let me check the configuration xml configuration xml looks good there is no error and i think i need to populate this way i believe okay now the error is still there let me populate like this okay i think it has to populate a complete value i have no clue why okay that's fine let's go to the advanced and i'm going to save the target variable save concat concatenated value okay now here in the log payload all i'm going to do is that instead of this uh, payload and i'm going to say um, key one as usual my favorite vars dot save module one okay key to vars dot concatenated value now the log payload should give both of the information let's debug and see if this works if this works thumbs up okay all you guys have done an awesome job okay hmm okay it's done now let's get into it let's debug send and now the first output let's see the vars okay vars it has given welcome mule world of java next vars 2 it has concatenated manju and kaushik that's awesome that's really awesome guys now if you can see uh, obviously this is a logger since this is a logger uh, it would have populated this if i had added the transform message instead of this okay let me remove this breakpoint and if i get this transform guy over here where are you there you go transform message and i would just copy paste as it is paste it over here okay so this just paste it over here and then i'll say application slash json you please give me this value i'll remove this logger now let us see okay i think it's got deployed let's make a call now send see you got the output now we are not going to stop still over here we are going to look something more let's stop this thing and let's add one more method i'm just going to copy paste as it is and this time i'm going to say uh, not student name i'll say student id okay and i'll say int int let us let us take one parameter called id and i'll check uh return return um id plus iphone new and save it that's it whatever id that you send in as an integer you you going to get concatenated and send the value that's it okay now let's go back to this guy so small thing guys very small thing let's drag and drop this invoke static 
not invoke static see this what i'm going to do i'm going to take one more way one more way of implementing it i'll show you transform message and here i'm going to say invoke java via transformer and here it's obviously i want the output in json um first i obviously you guys know this right import import thing imports okay here i'm going to say import uh, java okay sorry import java colon okay import java colon the package name let me copy this entire thing here copy till here copy paste it okay co i have copy qualified name paste it uh, no 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 this is not the right way let me delete this and i'm going to say code java like this okay that's it okay which means i'm saying code java that code java is nothing but this guy this and this code java is nothing but this guy okay you need to add this uh, reference model now here you can say that um, here you can give that output what output i can remove this okay first of all i can remove this and make everything over here itself okay and delete this and then in key 3 just see this in key 3 key 3 and i'm going to call now how do i call this code java okay colon colon what is the function name it's student id this is student id so i'm going to pass student id within brackets and i'm going to send 100 can i send as number no that's i don't know whether it's going to happen or not let's check it now i hope you guys understood i called this student name student id which is available in this particular class which is available in this particular package and i have imported that now see this let's debug it and check whether this guy was not debug i'll just run directly and see if that works okay so it should give 100 hyphen new that's all it should give well, let's see that fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed okay fingers crossed come on should be deployed by now cool it got deployed let's send it fingers crossed 100 new how cool is that how cool is that now we have hard coded 100 in the code you can obviously get in either query parameters or any one of the uri parameters okay guys now you know how to invoke the java invoke static now there are other modules as well which is invoke and new and let's see what else we can learn in the upcoming tutorials until then i wish you have a great learning take care see you soon